Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be a bit different because we're going to talk a bit about Wi-Fi speeds. Nope, I know a lot of you might already be enjoying very good Wi-Fi speeds at home or even at your offices. But say for example, if you are someone who's still using a Wi-Fi 5 router and you are looking to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 router. Now today's very quick video is going to give you a clearer understanding of, you know, primarily what is Wi-Fi 6 and of course, which router you should go for. So actually there's two different models. There's the AX1800 and there's also the AX3000. So we're going to go over a bit of a very quick comparison and by the end of today's quick video, you should be able to give yourself a clearer answer on which router you should go for. So let's begin today's video right away. Now, what really is Wi-Fi 6 and how is it much more different from Wi-Fi 5? Now, this is very important if you are still using a Wi-Fi 5 router. So essentially, Wi-Fi 6 is obviously going to be providing you even faster network speeds. In terms of numbers, it's about two to three times faster than Wi-Fi 5. Now, the second advantage of Wi-Fi 6 is that it actually offers better and stronger coverage. So in other words, it's basically able to support more connected devices while maintaining stronger speeds. Now, this is very important if you are like me because these days, a lot of our devices are connected to the same router. If you are living with a family, you might have even more devices, tablets, phones, your smart TV, your smart vacuum, whatever. Everything is going to be connected to your router. So that's very important if you're going to get Wi-Fi 6. Now, the third benefit of Wi-Fi 6 is that it actually offers even lower power consumption. And that's because of a very unique feature that's available to Wi-Fi 6 that is TWT. Now TWT is basically the target wake time and long story short, a very layman terms idea of how this works is, let's say for example, your device is connected to your router, but it is not being used. So let's say, you know, like my devices is just placed here, I'm not using it. So what the router will do is that it will actually stop the connection to it and ultimately, you know, save a lot on power consumption. Now this brings us to our next question. Now that we've seen the benefits of Wi-Fi 6, which model of the router should you go for? So an AX1800 router might start from approximately 150 ringgit. And if you just go and check online, like on your favorite platforms, you might be able to find the AX3000 router starting from just 200 ringgit onwards. So it's like a 50 to 60 ringgit difference between both routers, but what's different and which should you go for? Now for this, I'm gonna put on a very simple chart in front of your screens here and go through a couple of points. Now number one, in terms of speed and bandwidth, obviously, both routers are very fast because they're Wi-Fi 6, but the AX3000 is almost double the speed of the AX1800. It has this 5 gigahertz band that is about two times stronger and you can achieve approximately 2400 Mbps of Wi-Fi speed that is way faster on the AX3000 compared to 1200 Mbps on the AX1800. Now moving on to our next point, let's talk a bit about the bandwidth. Again, if you have a lot of devices connected to your internet, this is where the AX3000 will actually offer you even better bandwidth. Now with better bandwidth, like I mentioned earlier on, this means that the AX3000 will be able to support more devices connected together and they will all be able to enjoy that faster speed and more stable connection. Now moving on to our next point, we have here the range and coverage. Now the good news about Wi-Fi 6 routers is that they're both very strong in terms of their range. So I wouldn't say that there's a huge difference in terms of range between both models. However, due to the higher speed and bandwidth of the AX3000, you are also going to be enjoying an even faster speed and connection on the AX3000 model. Now moving on to our fourth point, this is actually related to the power consumption. The AX3000 actually has a lower power consumption. The AX1800 is not to say like eating a lot of power, but if you're just going to look at which one has a better, lower, more efficient power consumption, that will actually go to the AX3000. Now last but not least, the price. Now like I said earlier on, the difference between the price is only 50 to 60 ringgit today. Now if you're looking to get a brand new router, there's actually quite a fair bit of brands available today. I'll put them up on your screens. They're Tenda, TP-Link, Totoling, D-Link, Asus, Xiaomi. There's a lot of brands in the market today that offers these routers. Now at the end of the day, which one should you choose? I think the answer here is actually fairly simple. Due to that very small minimum price difference, I definitely strongly suggest you go with the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. Now think of it this way, if you're going to be streaming 4K, 8K, or whatever kind of content on your TV, you don't want any kinds of lag or buffering when it comes to your gaming. If you have a lot of devices, these days we all own like tablets, computers, smartphones. And again, if you live with your family members, there's definitely going to be even more devices. So just to minimize any potential congestion in terms of your network, why not just go for the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router? Besides that, it's also worth noting that, you know, these days as we advance further and further, you actually notice that the amount of data that we are consuming every day is getting more and more. So I think in a way, the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router 
the sort of future proofs yourself and yeah i mean just get the ax3000 wi-fi 6 router if you are going to get a new one forget about the 50 to 60 ringgit price difference get the right one just buy it once and use it for the next couple of years now with that said thank you for watching today's quick video hopefully today's video has helped you out in a way or another it's a very layman terms kind of video but thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one do take care and stay safe bye bye